Good evening. This is Tina. How are you? In this video, I'm gonna cover covered query. <laughs> for the covered query, first you have to write a query, and for this covered query, you have to meet two requirements. The first requirement is for all the fields you used in the query, it must be part of the index. Second, for the re fields in the returned result, they must be part of the index. Okay, so now let me give you example. Here I have a db dot uh, test column dot find. Okay, uh, in this uh, test call a collection. Uh, collection okay we only has one document which is like this and uh, I already create uh, let me drop then restart okay uh, drop okay okay now if I show collection okay we on, don't only have this uh, test col right so uh, uh, CLS. and let me person dot uh, insert okay I will insert first name is uh, Josh last name is Edward do you know which Edward the Edward in the Twilight <laughs> then we find first dot find okay so this is our document right and now let's uh, create an index first uh, it should by default it should has uh, one index on the primary key let me get index get indexes yes here this is the default index on the primary key okay now let's create a nine index uh, create index we're using compound index okay then uh, compounding this the first field is a uh, uh, first name using ascending and the last name is also using ascending now i created now get index you will see two index now right nice right. now let me find okay so now let me write a query db person dot find okay the query we have to make sure in this find method all the fields you list in the query expression it must be part of the index so now if i write a query like this first name yeah oh, sorry uh, we can do some uh, fun thing okay like a regular expression and which contains all obviously okay so yeah this is a covered query so far we can only say it meet the first requirement which is uh, all the fields inside the, our query expression is a part of the uh, index which is the compound index we created and now let's take a look at the return result this is the query this is the return result right but after we see this return result we can say it's not the cover query why because in this result we have an id here id is not part of the compound index which we're using this one when we search by first name we're using the compound index right but id is not part of that index so in this query we are doing now is not a covered query got it it has to meet two requirements and uh, now if I do this one, last name, I just do Edward here, okay? Yeah, this uh, covered query, the first requirement, it, um, it, uh, you, oh, something is wrong here. This one is wrong here. This one should be here. First requirement, it match. All the fields is part of an index, that a component index. But when we go and see our result, then it's not because this ID is not part of the 
uh, index. So to make sure to make uh, these two query are the uh, what's the uh, are the com uh, covered query, we have to specify. We have to using projection. So in this case, uh, we, it's a compound. It's a covered query. Why? Because here, this is our query, right? Uh, the query only has the first name, which is a field in the query expression, and it's a part of the index. And look at this result. Result only has the first name and the last name, and we have an index, right? With the compound index, uh, contain first name and last name. Okay, and the same thing uh, to fix this one. Same thing to fix this one. You just uh, add a first name, one, uh, ID equals zero. So this is also compound uh, covered query. Sorry, covered query because uh, look at our result. The result, this field is part of the uh, index, okay? And also the query expression, this part, query expression, both of the fields, uh, first name and the last name, are part of the index. So in this case, this is a covered query. So I think this is, should be uh, clear now, okay? So if you still have a question, take a look at the official document. Uh, and uh, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye bye.